Welcome everybody to the uh, basics of Overwatch. Uh, this is going to be an hour and a half and I'll go ahead and give you guys uh, kind of what we're going to be doing today. So uh, how is it going to work? There's going to be about three phases. Uh, the first phase is going to be a diagnostic phase. So during the diagnostic phase, uh, we'll probably play about two matches. Um, my mic will be muted. I'll be doing is listening and observing and playing with you guys while you guys are trying your hardest. Uh, I want to see you be playing. I want to see you play at 100%. I want to see you treat this these next couple quick play matches as a scrim, a tournament, pickup game, competitive, whatever the highest form of Overwatch you have played with. That's what I want to observe and watch and stuff like that. Um, uh, after those after those matches, uh, we'll go into kind of the next phase, which is just going to be kind of an analysis phase. During this phase, you guys are just going to listen to the analysis over the four uh, things that I was looking at. And these four things I'm going to be looking at during the diagnostic phase is going to be team composition, positioning, ultimate usage, and communication. These are the four things that I've seen most lower ranked players struggle with the most. Uh, and I'll give an analysis on each four of those things like, oh, this was good, this was bad, uh, this is what we're going to work on. And speaking of that, that's going to go into our third phase, which will be the coaching phase. Uh, yeah, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. So, because you've been in here before, so, uh, just let me know when you're back. Um, so, uh, after the analysis phase, like I said, will be the coaching phase. During the coaching phase, um... This is where I don't necessarily need you to try to win or anything like that. This is all, all I need you to do is literally listen to what I'm telling you to do and do your best to do it. So if we're only working on team comps, I don't care what our positioning is. I don't care what the ultimate use is. I don't care about anything else other than making sure team comps and stuff are done or if it's positioning or if it's ultimates or if it's communication, I don't care about the other three. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is making sure you guys are understanding the biggest problem you guys had as a whole and you guys can try to improve it within the time that we do have. Uh, so hopefully that explains the uh, lobby and format of this uh, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, so we're going to wait on Sipex for a minute. Uh, do you, any of you guys have any questions or anything like that before I guess we get started? Nothing. <laughs> I guess I guess I guess actually I get time killer and something to do and it's just fun it it's fun for me and now after doing it for so long it, it's kind of a routine and a habit and people know me for it now I guess a little bit so no never all these lobbies will always be free and stuff like that I'm never going to put it at pay to win or anything like that so yeah so uh, anytime i do lobbies and stuff it's first come first serve as long as you meet the requirements um a lot of people sometimes there'll be multiple people on stream that come in and i've had a lobby before uh i think last week or yeah i think it was last week where i opened the lobby the lobby got filled within like 30 seconds and it was all people from stream and we didn't even do the diagnostic match i just asked them i was like well, what do you guys want to work on and they said all right i want to work on this and maybe this so we just did that for the hour and a half that they had me uh so it was pretty interesting it's not very common that that does happen but it is uh, something that happens every now and then but uh, hopefully everybody here that is uh oh you so somebody did send me a friend request you guys can still send me for a request if you want um i'm going to be inviting any if if you are sending me for a request uh, don't send me messages because I'm not going to see that shit. If I do see that shit, I'm not going to reply to that shit. Uh, uh, the only thing friend request is really going to be for is when we're doing pugs, which I'm going to start doing, going to try doing those on Tuesdays. Uh, the communication pugs and stuff like that. It's kind of like the communication lobbies on Monday, but in a 12, a 6v6 format where there's 12 people. Um, and we're doing the coaching and stuff like that. Um, but I'll be sending out invites to everybody on my friends list. Uh, and if you join, then cool. If you don't, and I send it multiple times and you're online all the time and you don't accept, then you're just being removed off the friends list. Uh, just because I'd rather have people that I can have in to fill up the lobby and stuff like that. So uh, send them if you will. If not, you don't have to either way. Yeah, so pickup games are like a... It's, it's like a scrim but it's with random people 
but the overall goal is still the same. Uh, my pickup, my pugs are where it's a normal pug, but instead of uh, picking teams and stuff like that, they're all pretty much randomized. And then it's, uh, you guys have your shot caller, target caller, all tracker and stuff like that. And it's more of a team type thing where you get to learn how to do all that. All right. Uh, so Sipex is back. Uh, does anybody have any last questions before we get started? No? Okay. Let's go ahead. Uh, queue up. Like I said, during this phase, this is the diagnostic phase. So uh, I'll just be uh, having my mic muted and seeing how you guys are playing at your quote unquote peak level. Uh, and I'm not going to be necessarily looking i get this question often or somebody always asks how was i doing i don't know i'm not looking at anybody specifically if i see you doing something wrong all the time i might call you out on it if i don't see you doing something wrong all the time it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing stuff right it just means you're not doing anything bad enough for me to say anything uh, also if you are in stream please mute the stream or leave the stream uh, for anybody who's there um okay uh, is there anything specific you guys are wanting me to play here? If not, uh, I'll go ahead and pick what I think I should play after you guys. No? Okay. Well, good luck to you guys. Uh, talk to you guys after this match is over. And, uh, yeah. I guess good luck, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll be picking last, so I'll pick what yeah I'll pick what y'all gonna go. I'll flex around to you guys. <laughs> Alright, so but oh I'll go May here. Oh, well, may not be able to go May actually. So first off, team composition took way too long to make. People don't know what to go and what to do. Like I'm not in position our widow's not in position all these things like and now if she does go to try to grapple she's not going to have it on cooldown i can't even get in position to uh like now i'm around here i can't even get ready because it took us so long to build team composition Okay, so they are, they are super spread out. So, our team comp isn't terrible. We have a main tank. The only thing I would say... So the enemy team definitely isn't coordinated. Uh, so their team is playing completely way out of position. I don't understand why they're on us on the high ground. How many people do we missing? I'm gonna use this as a zone so we can buy some time. Oh, geez, I didn't know that was on point. So they used two alts. That's fine. We're not gonna be able to do anything there.
Yeah. Good hold. Decent hold. Decent. I, I think so far from like looking, our alts weren't terrible. Um, I have to look and see if the alts were that bad. The communication so far is pretty solid. Team comp, like I said, isn't terrible. I'll go Torb for this sim. Wait, the turret can hit the top part of that? So they're doing a really good job on communicating where people are at. Uh, they're doing pretty decent on positioning. Uh, so we have three, four, we almost have five alts coming online. So I'm wanting to see how their ultimate usage is going to be. Uh, and I'm curious to see how their positioning would be on an attack. Woo. Decent mine usage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. oh no, I felt. My turret is still on point. So we have we have three alts online. Okay, we use that one. That should that should be enough. We got two kills. Oh well, that widow's there. They're doing they're doing a pretty decent job. They're doing they're doing a lot better. Than I was expecting. Decent mines. <laughs> Not terrible. Okay, so uh, I think we're just better than the enemy team, honestly. There's like, we're more mechanically skilled. We know our heroes a little bit better than how they are. Like they, the enemy team is not, doesn't seem like they're actually trying. cooldown before I drop three two one no right, so we're we'll probably play a second one after that one all right so we're definitely gonna play a second one after that one just to see if the same uh, things are going on and then uh, we'll talk about the analysis and stuff here after that uh, we don't need to watch this. Uh, leave game as group and queue for the next one. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, to an extent, I can't really say I'm too impressed of how they're doing just because of how the enemy team, the enemy team was. 
I didn't do anything, really. And sometimes in some of the games, I don't do much and our team's doing good. I, but the, there's not really any real struggle. There was no real struggle of what, what they like, they really needed to do something. Uh, I think overall, it was just, we was more, we, we was better than the enemy team. Simple as that. I think no matter what we played, what position we did, we would have won. It doesn't matter. What heroes we pick, it doesn't matter. Some and sometimes it just sometimes it just be like that. Is there anything specific you guys are wanting me to play here? If not, I'll pick around uh, you guys. All right, uh, I'll pick last one. All right, so. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What? What do you want? Tracer. Okay. I'll go Tracer. We can see how this works. Um, not really sure how the Tracer is going to work here. We're also running on a BAP again, which... Okay, then we switch swap to a Zen, which ain't terrible. Oh no, the trap. <laughs> Nobody knows who me is, so like calling that out. Our Hanzo, it took forever to figure out who. If you're ever DPS and you're like, and you feel like you're not walking, uh, popping off as much, just get the last, just get the last shot on somebody. And it doesn't matter. The fucking fan the hammer. So we use both of those. We use dragons. We use trance. But our honor was dead, so that's that's fair. really curious why we used why it took four ults there i thought they only used i need to put on kill cams that's what i need to do jesus let's go kill cam off so we used we used dragons uh sigma ball alt Got to 85, so not terrible. Sources put into me. Okay. We invest another ultimate, which. Okay. It definitely paid off. 
We use the transcendence, the trance, because we got kills. We definitely need to win that fight. So, good job there. We win that. So. So, one thing. One thing that I'm like. Uh, looking at is kind of communication and effective communication. Um, try to punch me, old lady. Try to punch me. Okay, so uh. Is that a bug now or something? Like if you're doing something in the middle of a reload, it... So I'm thinking I'm thinking their communication is can definitely be refined a lot more. They're running the far. Let's see if I can get a stick when they're rotating. Where's our widow? Why is she here? Look at her widow. She's shooting behind the shield. She should be way on the far other angle. Like, how are you gonna, sh why would you put yourself, this is the same thing I was talking to a lot of other people about as DPS. A lot of DPS players always try to play behind effort, like, it's not that you go in at the same time, or at the same way. Some heroes have to go in other ways, like, when I was gonna go right, I was going right so I can play at another angle. Like, I'm gonna be way more effective getting the enemy team to turn around and do stuff over here. Okay, so we have we have a couple more ultimates here. So Oh, should I use that way too early? 6 7 8 Gonna touch, gonna wait. Somebody else is there. Probably could have waited for that, honestly.
Mm. Where is she at? <laughs> I'll just carry for like. So we're getting better at calling targets a little bit. Or effective some of the stuff. Alright. Let me not be as effective now. I didn't think she was gonna come chase me. Like, oh, she got the widow too. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. I'll run a uh uh little tip you know. All back. Why? 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 Whoa! The positioning we take here is here too. First point we took held on point two. Maybe positioning is an issue. That looks like that's a very big issue if they don't know where to hold. That's two kills. Watch, they're gonna tell us to pull. Watch, they're gonna tell us to pull back again. Yeah, get back on point. Get back on point. We we have to hold at the objective. Instead of getting them in a choke where they're going to be walking. Ooh, shit, he... Don't boop him over here! <laughs> he booped him into me! Who booped him? I think it was Ball. Oh yeah, it was Ball. Just gonna free fire here and get some. Everybody holds on the objective. I don't understand why they hold on the objective. Or why they. And then we hold the objective. 
I'm really going to ask our tanks. So it's... I mean, okay. So on the Hannah Moore map, I think our positioning was fine. But like I said at the beginning, we... It doesn't matter what we did. They were so bad. But now on this map and on Control Center, we don't know where to defend from. Okay, so... Uh. Yeah, it's definitely winnable. Yeah, that was a really bad position. I, I was, I was very uh, surprised there in the positioning. All right, we're not gonna watch this. All right, so let's go over what was good and then what was bad. Okay, so all right, you guys. All right, um. We'll start with we'll start with the best thing. Um, you guys' ultimates, I think, were probably the best thing, which is kind of a, kind of surprising recently, uh, with the amount of with the lobbies that I've been hosting and stuff like that. It's always been a lot of ultimate problems, um, but you guys' alts were pretty good. Um, I don't think there was very many overalting. The only thing I would kind of uh, uh, what I didn't understand was on control center when we used Sigma's all and ball and nano uh, We used all four of, or three of those and then I think we also used Another oh no, we used dragons right before that. I think so we used like four alts that fight and I was very confused on why I wasn't I wasn't able to see in the fight and I know the enemy team used an alt as well so I, but I don't know how many they did use, so I can't really say anything there. That's the only thing I will give a criticism on, but that's just because I wasn't able to see what they was using, and I forgot to turn off, turn back on my kill cam, so I could go back and see what they used. Um, but those are the things that usually alting like that is fine if the enemy team is throwing alts at you as well so say if you open with dragons and then they open up with another all right then you open up with the mines and then they're still pushing in and stuff like that mines don't land where they need to or something like that and then sigma comes out fine that's perfectly fine if you, if you have to keep throwing stuff in to keep the fight going in your favor especially when you're up 60 percent or something like that where you could take a couple losses to build back your ult or uh, take a couple losses to build back your ults before they even take over the majority of the objective that's fine fair enough um but i i can't uh see either way of which way that happened here. um next thing um and i don't want to rate this so high either because these these next two are kind of tied um and not necessarily because they were bad just well a little bit of it because y'all's Hanna War match and I'll uh, I mentioned this in chat as well. The Hanna War match I don't even think counts as a match just because the enemy team was not necessarily super bad uh, and I can't really I don't know what they were doing really but just because of us I think we were just better in general. I don't think we could have played whatever we wanted, played wherever we wanted, did whatever we wanted to do. We probably still would have won very easily against that team just because of uh, we're just better on our heroes, better on uh, mechanical skill, games, like we're just better in general. So it doesn't matter what we play, who we play in that situation. So I can't really judge that one too, too harshly or anything like that because that's just what it was. Uh, the big ones that I am looking at is the control center and, and well that last match with Li Zhang Tower with those three maps there um, so Team composition I'll go. I'll just say team composition was next um, team composition was all right um, It wasn't terrible or anything like that. Uh, I am curious to why we stayed with the uh, why we kept starting out on the uh, 
Bap and Ana. I think that was the combination that we was using a lot of times. What, what was the reasoning for the Bap and Ana? And I think we played that on Control Center. And then after that, I think we swapped some stuff up. Or it might have been, it might have been Gardens. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, so now let me ask you a question with your logic there uh, when you say about amount of healing per second. Does the amount of healing per second really affect anything in the game? Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, well, what do you normally play? And I'll rephrase it to a quick, huh? No, 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 because uh, you say you don't play support often, so what role do you normally play? Okay, so then what is kind of what is a DPS in general is your main goal to get as much damage then to put that into perspective because I guess healing would be as much healing DPS would be what an analogy for that would be the most damage. Yeah, but but um, ideally you want to have the most is that like with the logic there Okay, so uh, if if fair to say healing you as a healer you want to get as much healing as Damage you want to get as much damage in as tank you want to take the most damage or shield the most damage Is that kind of the idea? Of... That, that's fine fair, fair enough, but ideally that's kind of uh, if you had a thing, okay, so that way of thinking is completely wrong. You do not want to be thinking like that. And for anybody here, anybody in stream watching, you do not want to think like that because that is not how the game necessarily works. If that was the case, every team comp would have a Bastion, every team comp would have Arissa Reinhardt, and every team comp would probably have a Moira and a Baptiste. Um, the game does rely on a certain amount of it but it's not necessarily the main goal of a role is to do the most of whatever the main goal of every role it usually is going to be utility what utility do they bring and you did mention it a little bit with immortality phil great we have something defensive that we can kind of stay alive for a couple seconds but your other thing was like he him and honor are the most output of healing that I get per 10 that's great uh, cool I'm happy you do that but it doesn't matter you can have 3 million heals and we still lose because we didn't have a defensive ult or we didn't have the speed boost for Ryan or we didn't have the stuns for the uh for their dive comp or brawl composition all that stuff we don't have the right utility it is about bringing utility and what that hero brings synergy wise to the team composition uh same thing goes with DPS and stuff like that you're not playing DPS to get more damage you want to play DPS because oh I'm either countering something or it mixes well with our synergized team comp or uh, or the map works really well with this DPS something to that effect it's not that you're picking it because it does the most damage because like I said in that case you would always pick Bastion right he does the most damage out of everybody so why not just go Bastion every time so that's that's the ideal that you, the, that's the logic you want to have behind your uh, hero picks and stuff like that uh, and that goes for every single role. So hopefully that explains that a little bit. That, and that's why I was kind of wondering why we went these two things uh, with that. And, and like I said, it's all grain of salt and stuff like that. Yes, you will have times where you do need more healing and you may have to do that. And you will have times where you need more damage or need this. There will be times like that. But most of the time you probably you need to start out with having good synergy, what's good for the team composition stuff like that how to counter their enemy team you want to have that idea of them saying oh we just need more damage or we just need more healing or we just need more shield or whatever so uh keep that in mind when it comes to building team comps and stuff like that all right um uh next thing uh and i'm not gonna go into too much on the team composition and stuff like that but uh team comp like i said wasn't terrible uh and one big thing is, is with team comps and this is something that uh, i, I want to mention this too because this can really 
affect a lot of your games and stuff when it comes to uh, picking heroes or counter picking and stuff. Okay, so counter picking in the game, and I know, um, and I want to mention, uh, I guess it was our Baptiste because they did swap to Bat. Um, is when you're going to counter pick, it is not necessarily. It, it goes two ways. It's not one person's job to counter pick. There are multiple heroes in every role to kind of pick around certain things like that. Uh, and it's also and it's also a different playstyle change and stuff like that. So one thing that I do want to mention is our Baptiste player. When they swap to Baptiste, they swap because they was going afar. So that's really good for them to call that out uh, or to make that play. And our expired meat, they went McCree. So we have a hit scan that can kind of deal with the far, but she's still being effective. And our uh, our thing saying our uh, Zen's like, okay, well they're still being super effective. I need to help shut them down in some way that I can. Oh, I'm gonna go Baptiste because that can still do damage. Here. You could also stay on the Zen too, and our tank, our flex tank could swap. Uh, since we was running a, uh, what was we running at the? I guess a Rhine and a what? A ball. We're running two main tanks, so either one could swap to a, a D.Va and help with that far as well. So there could be one in every role dealing with this far if she's that big of a problem. But the other thing that I do want to mention is that even if say say we're running a Winston, right? And they're running a Reaper and you're like, oh, in your mind, you're like, oh, Winston counters Reaper or, Win or Reaper counters Winston, right? You're like, oh, Winston, you need to swap off a blah, 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 because they're playing a counter. Who gives a shit what they're playing? If Winston is still on fire, opening up space for everybody, not dying every 20 seconds and all this other stuff, and he's doing his job correctly, it doesn't matter what they're playing if they're playing it bad. Same thing goes if you're playing a Widow versus a Widow or something, or a, 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 a Sombra versus Ball, because Spachi, I know you, you seem to be pretty decent at Ball or whatever, right? If they're playing a Sombra against you, but the Sombra doesn't know that they're supposed to hack or doesn't try to counter you. What does it matter if they're if they're if they're if they're playing Sombra, right? Doesn't make a difference. So these are things that you want to understand when it comes to picking counters and stuff like that. Is that just because they're picking a hero doesn't necessarily mean that you have to swap. So or you need to swap or anything like that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Alright, next thing is going to be um uh communication uh y'all's communication was pretty good uh overall it was pretty consistent uh there was some tart calling being done toward the end uh which really can change the way of a fight especially during that overtime setting uh when it's like we either win or we lose so like you got to do something uh and uh, i think i think it was sipex i think you was calling targets Something like that. Really good job there to focus everybody's fire on one person and stuff like that. So good job on that one. Um, but overall, you guys are talking about where they're coming, what they're playing a lot of the times, um, uh, what abilities they may be using, if abilities have been used and stuff like that. And I want to go into a little bit of detail why I have uh, extra time and stuff like that. Um, so one thing, and I'll just go over kind of some of the roles real quick. So tanks, you guys are the front line of the team. So one thing when it comes to your communication, what you can do, especially as soon as the match starts, it literally lists out everybody on their team that you see. Because you're going to be the first one in line. You're going to see everybody. If you know they have a Widow, that's going to tell your supports, okay, I need to play this way. Or I need to play. If you see they have a Tracer, a Genji, Doomfist, a Sombra. Oh, I need to play around health packs. Or I need to do this. I it, Telling us that can immediately rotate and change our play style completely because we know what they have. If you can give that information out as soon as we get there, that we'll know. So, like, Ball, when you went over and you was like, oh, they have a fire. All right, great. Now we know we got to be careful when we go over this bridge until we see that concussion mine come out or something like that. And then we can go. Um, but, like I said, extend that to the other five people that are on the enemy team so we can know what they're running before that 15 seconds hit, 15 second marker hits, and we have to hit tab. Uh, if you don't know at 15 seconds when the match is loaded in you hit tab you can see what they're running um, Okay, next thing supports. This is kind of big for you guys as well If you're seeing stuff you guys see everything on the field So if you see flankers coming up make sure you're always mentioning that if you get a sleep dart uh, Or land something this is very crucial because I've seen this happen a couple times We have no idea who you are So the key things you want to stay away from when you're saying stuff especially when you're playing random people is say me 
we don't know who the fuck me is. You say, oh, one me, who who are you? And obviously, if you're an on and you land asleep, okay, we can probably cipher that, but why just take, just say on your honor or over, uh, and a couple things too that was called during this match over here, over there. Where the fuck is that? Please tell me a direction on the left side, on the right side, on point, on mega, on this. Give some type of direction when you're calling out stuff like that so that we can at least look where we're going. Okay, so just minor communication uh, problems that were or not necessary problems, just kind of like redefine, uh, redefining like y'all's communication. Because you guys were doing good, it just wasn't super effective at all times. Just that's just more things to kind of make your communication a little more effective for your whole team and stuff like that. So, next thing, um, and this is the thing that I was very, I wasn't worried about on Hanamura, but I was. And, and, and the thing is with Hanamura, like I said, Hanamura was just kind of a joke game because they didn't really do anything. <laughs> like, like I said, y'all could have did whatever y'all wanted, y'all would have won. <laughs> so, and, and if you don't understand when that happens, when their sim teleports in by themselves and, and on a Hanamura match, and they do that multiple times, you probably already have the game in the bag because you can already assume that their team is not coordinated, nobody's communicating, it's things like that. If you see like inconsistencies like that, then your play style needs to be focus their supports if possible, focus people out of position because they're not going to get any help because their team's brainless and they're not paying attention to what's going on around them. That is what, that is the thing that should kick in your head. Oh, wait, they're doing that? Oh, okay, well, blah, blah, is out of position, let me focus them down. All right, so that's, um, let's talk about y'all's last, Thing. like I said y'all's position y'all's position well, like I said on tomorrow was okay the other maps were ass uh, and I'm not really gonna say y'all's pathways were always bad but one thing I seen and this is something that I was watching on stream we just playing on gardens uh, the one where you can bo boop off on the sides and stuff like that why oh why does Widowmaker play behind all the rest of her teammates I don't understand. You have infinite range, ideally, on that map. There's no reason for you to play behind all five of us and try to hit shots. Yes, you did hit the far and stuff, but why make it that much harder on yourself? I go right side and then the rest of my team goes right side. And I'm like, fuck, well, now I gotta now I gotta play at another angle. Now I gotta go around and do this other stuff. Cause I if, if I'm playing the DPS and I'm playing Tracer, I'm not gonna really, really do anything if I'm in the front line. If I'm playing at another angle and I'm playing on the back line, they either look at me or they look at you guys. And I'm super mobile, so I can get out really easy. So if they try to put resources into me, front line, you guys can push for it. And you guys don't have as many resources to put into you. So that's kind of how that works there. Um, but our positioning on uh, control center and really the night market was bad. And I won't say so much on the control center as much because it wasn't so many resets that happened, but on the night, night market, that was really bad. Okay, so one thing I do wanna ask for our tank line, because this is a question for you guys, since you guys are frontline, um, and I'll ask both of you guys, uh, why, why do you hold on the objective? Because I wanna know your thought process on this. So this is for Spachi and Carrie Potter. Both of you guys have mics, because I've heard you guys talk why do you hold on the objective on 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 all of them that we did or a lot of them that we did other than hanamura obviously but um really night market we'll just focus on night market because that was the one that we actually had fights reset most of the time Okay, fair enough. You have a reason. As long as there is a reason, that's better than not having any plan. So any plan, I tell this all the time, any plan is going to be better than no plan. So you have a reason, you have a plan. Okay, cool. Just let your team know where you're going to be holding and stuff like that, which is why I'm asking. Okay, so Spachi, your rear reasoning. Uh... Wh why? Why? 
Uh-huh. Okay. So you're saying that your team is holding on the point, so you hold on the point as well? Okay. Oh, let me turn that. There we go. For whatever reason, that was not set to game. Um, so your team's holding on the objective. You're, as a main tank or a tank player, you're, you know you're not in control of your team. You, you know your team doesn't control where you go, right? You control where your team goes? Okay, so with that being said, so now do you have a different answer on why you hold on it? Or do you know why? Does anybody here know why it's bad to hold on the objective? Yeah, you only get one fight. What, what, can you go into a little more detail on that? If they kill you... Okay, hold on, hold on one second. Let me... Point versus closer to their side, then when they kill you, uh, it'll take you longer to get back to the point. Okay, okay. Yes, they're I, I, already on point when they kill you, basically. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can I can kinda agree with that. Um and also being on the on the defense on point usually is not the best position. Because you're down low. You're what? You're down low. Yeah, um like a lot of them, it's like the low ground. Like uh Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So you're on low ground. Okay. I, okay, I get what you're saying there. Okay fair enough there okay so closed you, you've been in the lobby before so i guess you already know a little bit so the first thing yes you do only get kind of get one fight uh big reason is uh, kind of like i said a little bit of, like how you were saying there a little bit that um but the thing is when you're holding on the objective um you don't know which way they're coming from for one so they can come from you main they can come from right side they can come from all these angles and attack you uh two um and this will go on more uh, like how expired meat was saying but worded a little different if you take a fight and a choke you can easily pull back to the objective and you're still getting objective progress right and you don't necessarily have to use anything you can always just back out they have to fight to even get close to the objective they can't even get they can't even get through the door yet so they have to get through that and then make it to the objective and then you still have the objective uh also like in how excited the saying is like if you do die in the choke and your whole team dies you're you they the objective is still moving there's objective is still getting percentage and stuff like that so that's something that you want to kind of look for and make sure you're playing off of the objective when you're defending an objective um and this is something that will help a lot in your game so whenever you're defending an objective no matter if you're on attack or defense so if you're attacking a payload and you're moving the payload you don't want to fight on the payload you want to take fights off of the payload have one person pushing pushing cart and that's what you want to be doing because no matter what you have one pusher person pushing the cart you can have five people take it going to 5v6 keeping that fight going keeping that momentum keeping that fight going off of the payload keeps that payload moving and even if you start losing that fight you can back up to the payload which the payload's still moving and then you still get more people and stuff like that so uh, that's kind of the thought process that you want to be doing when it comes to taking space so uh and uh positioning and stuff like that so i'm going to teach you guys how to position yourself for the next 36 minutes uh does anybody have any questions or anything like that i have a question yes go ahead so in terms of when you're a tank okay um playing off the objective okay. i play little hog so the idea is to punish people who are out of position but in doing so you can take a lot of fun you can take a lot of damage so would it be better to just like play closer to the objective and not play so aggressively because if your whole team's holding in the choke, it's not that you're going to be putting taking people out of position or uh, punishing people for getting out of position. You're just going to be there as frontline damage and watching uh, corners and stuff like that. So as a Roadhog, you kind of play him like a DPS to an extent where you're going on soft link. So you're uh, I say you're running a Reinhardt, right? And you're running a Roadhog for your flex tank. And you're playing the flex thing so you're gonna be there for frontline damage shoot 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 okay you're kind of stag stagnant where you're going 
okay, I'm going to go in a soft flank. A soft flank is going to be kind of where you're out of the fight for three seconds, and now you're back in the fight. That's kind of how long you want to go on a flank, uh, on a soft flank. Now, if you're going some super long 20-minute flank, then, okay, hopefully it works out for you, but it probably won't. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what you want to be doing. Looking for these angles like that, taking the soft flank that way, uh, go on a soft flank, look for a hook. If you don't land it, go back to the front line and put front line, more front line pressure on. And then when your hook comes back on, try to do it main, then try to go on the left side, try to go on the right side. Look for those things. It's not that you're going to be constantly looking through somebody out of position. It's that you're going there to get a hook or try to do something like that and then go from there. Uh, so that's kind of how you want to be doing that. Uh, when you're playing a roadhog hopefully that does that make sense a little bit yeah i got you okay so uh all right so we got about 34 minutes left uh and i'm going to show you tell you guys how to position yourself or show you guys how we're going to how how to position uh to where one our pathing is going to be a lot easier uh to where we're not taking as much damage and two where we're only attacking and engaging when we need to uh, because that's going to be a key thing when it comes to positioning. If you're, if everybody is constantly trying to just do something, you're going to wear out a lot of your resources, and you won't really have those resources when you need to actually engage. So the team composition that we're going to be playing is going to punish us a lot for doing that. So uh, for support line, we're going to be running Brig Lucio. For tank line, we're going to be running Ryan Zarya. For our DPS, it's May McCree. Uh, so you guys can pick what you want first come first serve or if you want to talk to the person fine whatever but this is what we're going to be playing we're going to be playing this on um all of the maps and then we will play maybe have time to play another composition i don't know but usually we're just going to stick to this one uh for right now all right did anybody have any questions or anything like that before we get with this next one this uh the coaching phase i guess no okay Yes, and I apologize for people that was in stream that could not hear them talking. Their communication was very good, but like I said, the, uh, the, when my computer reset, it wasn't necessarily the best. Like, it reset a lot of my sound routing, so I had to go back in and change all that before stream and stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, uh, if you, if you guys do happen to, see that or something like that sometime please say something in chat so i can fix it if you don't hear game sound or something because <laughs> i looked and i was looking at the levels i was like wait you can't hear them talk so but uh so we need to go ahead and pick our support line brig lucio and i'll hold i'll tell you where, to, where we're going to be holding Spachi, um, since you're running our main tank, so we're gonna hold, we're gonna hold to the left up here by the cart where your McCree's at, on your McCree. So normally you're not gonna be playing every single comp like this, but with our specific comp, we're going to be playing it like this. How we're gonna do things is I'm gonna tell you guys to win engage. When we need to engage. We use everything, and then when we disengage, we're gonna disengage. So we don't. Oh, let's go engage! Push, 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 push. Okay, push on the payload. You don't want to let them move payload in this composition. Can we keep pushing? Push in, push into him, push into him, push into him. Yeah, widow up top. Push into him, push into him, push into him. Top left, widow. She's the half. All right, so we need to die on the payload. We're down a couple people. Do not let them move the cart. You need to die on the payload. Go to payload. Lucio, you need to get out because you're not doing anything right now. You need to get out. Zari can stay alive on payload as long as she can. Try to get all charge so the rest of our team can get out. You need to go speed the rest of our team back. Lucio, go speed. Yep, there you go. All right, we're not ready to engage yet. Now let's go bottom. Right. Let's go ahead. Can we push in? Three, two, one, go, 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 push, 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 push. Just die on the payload. 
If we're gonna die, we have, we're down four or two. All right, so we're basically just like managing utility. Uh, to an extent. But in this composition, when you're on defense on an escort map, your whole uh thing I is. Oh, I think he DC'd. All right, so we'll back out real quick. Um, invite him back in. I don't know what happened. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll invite him back in. I don't know what happened to him. He just okay. So um, I'm seeing that it's basically just like when I say managing utility, it's just you're trying to like I, I heard you use synergize a lot. So is that basically the game? You're trying to synergize with your team, and whoever does that more wins. Uh, there's other factors on it, but yes, every team composition, um, you're uh using all abilities at once you're not going to be using abilities uh a lot of times separately uh you want to be pushing in as a full team and when it comes to pushing in as a full team it doesn't mean you all push in as like some pile it means that you're all using your abilities at once on whatever you're trying to do so, um, and I can explain this a little bit more. Uh, hey, Kathy. So, are you are you you watching stream right now? Uh, no. no okay. No. So I'll, I'll break it up though. Okay. Uh, it's it's fine. Um, I was just wondering if you knew what we were doing. So, we're working on positioning right now. So, you will be playing a Brig or Lucio. Uh, we're running the Ryan Zarya composition uh, with the May McCree. I don't know if you've been here for those. Uh, so, uh, but we're running Brig Lucio. Uh, May McCree, Ryan Zarya. So, uh, how, and I'll explain how this comp can work a little, a uh, little more so you guys aren't as confused. And I, I, I failed to mention that, so I'm apologize about that. So how this is going to work is that, um, Lucio is going to be our big thing when it comes to, uh, um, engages. So his amp speed is when we're pretty much going to engage. During that, we're going to use Brig Stun, McCree Stun, Ice Wall, uh, bubble stuff like that to engage uh, and we're not going uh, the only one we're not really going to use to engage is Reinhardt's charge obviously uh, but we're going to be just walking for it and using our abilities on that person uh, the position that we're going to be taking is going to be around cover and waiting for them to do something or we're going to get as close as we can without taking as much damage uh, so that's kind of our goal when we're like I said on defense when we're doing the escort anytime you're going to die you need to die on the payload uh, because it'll take more time for them to move it and like with our Zarya how long you stay alive Let more people come back from spawn and we was able to push in a lot more with the team now on that map You should be able to get three contests if you do hold there and you don't let the payload move um, If you do happen to move there uh, if you do happen to uh put the uh, let the payload move you may only get two so you hold one at that uh house there and then if you all die on the payload you don't let them move you should be able to get another contest under the bridge where that mega health pack room is you get one more there and then you get one more right before they touch on third uh, on that first point so you get three contests which should bring them down to roughly 30 seconds or so that is your main goal on defense on defense all you're doing is wasting as much time as possible that is what you're trying to do, especially on escort map. They're going to move it somewhere. So like you want to waste as much time as possible. All right. Uh, so hopefully that explains like kind of the play style and a little bit more on that map and why, why I chose those positionings there. Uh, so. I don't know what happened to CPEX, but it was on my friends list, but they got removed from my friends list. They're not going to be blocked yet but I, I I don't know I don't know if anybody ends up leaving I they usually before the time's up will usually uh, uh, block them unless they're either in stream or they're on my friends list or something like that uh, but it's very rare that they don't get blocked without for no reason and thanks again for uh, Chromebook for turning the lights black. It's so so nice to have this. Or you can't see anything. It looks great. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely definitely not the uh, adjective I would use to describe what it looks like, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a thing. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm curious like some somebody someday is going to randomly come in on the stream and they're going to be new and they're going to see the black and they'll be like why do you not have lights on or something like that I'm like look man <laughs> channel points <laughs> that's why I'm trying to save some dollars <laughs> the lights off yeah. Uh, what are you playing, Spark? Uh, I'll play me. Okay. You don't care. No, I, I, I just need to know what you're doing. And then the support uh, line is um, Brig Lucio. So you can go whatever cap I got. So I'll probably have time to play two, maybe one. Oh, shoot. Um, and then. Uh, the last one that we'll play is going to be kind of like a showcase of you guys to see if you guys have learned anything and stuff like that. So if you don't know why I'm saying to hold this area or why I'm saying to engage now or stuff like that, please feel free to ask so I can explain because I will be asking you guys why you're doing that after that last match is over. All right, so what we're going to hold, we're going to hold this choke uh, right here with these rocks uh, where your McCree's at. So the reason why we're going to hold here is because there's a little door right here. So if we was to hold closer, they can just go around and behind us. So what we're going to do is literally just wait around the corner. We're going to let our Brian and Zarya kind of s scout for us and kind of see what's going on. All right, so. All right we're not going to engage or anything like that. I'm just going to wait. We need to be a little closer to this rock, Ryan. You're, you're a little too far. No, no, like closer forward. Yeah. There you go. You need to be playing on that rock. They're playing with a mesh. All right, let's get healed up from here, and then we're going to get ready to go in. Ready? Oh, we just used amp, so we can't really go in. All right, let's go. We got to kill. Let's go, 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 go. Speed, 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 speed. Or Ash left. Hogs is low. So, uh, Lucid, there's no real need to amp if somebody gets kind of, if we get kind of low there, we're not going to be taking constant damage because we're literally just sitting here hiding. I'm not doing anything other than just waiting. I'm not going to peek. I'm not going to do it because there's a widow. I'm not going to try to get headshot. If she lands a shot, then we lose that because now they're 5v6. So I'm literally letting our tanks scout for us and do that job because they can't get one shot. And then I'm waiting to call stuff. So... Alright, are they here yet? No, not yet. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Should we kill that widow? No? Okay. Alright, so did, who died? Who died? So, Lucio, it is your job to speed people back. So, you need to go speed, like... You should have like anytime somebody dies you're like you should be one of the first ones back to speed the rest of the team back so we need to play super slow because we're I'm down some people fine. all right y'all y'all can use whatever ults whenever you want i'm not worried about that go 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 he hooked we go keep pushing right, keep pushing well, keep pushing we ain't stopping go we go go we don't we do not let them get out for free Right. So now we uh, reset. The next fight, once Diva uses her matrix, I'll ult. Right. We need to save B for the ground. Or tire. They have far now. Far. No more widow. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, rally. So if we're gonna rally, you probably want to rally three seconds early. So go ahead, rally now. Let's go to the point. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Watch, watch for that. I'm sorry. Okay, we survived that, so let's push. Push, 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 push. Okay, now we go and reset. And we gotta kind of look, I don't know where their Baptiste went. So... He's left side up top. Oh, are we able to go get him? Uh, hey, we should speed over and get him now. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. If you know he's there, let's amp. Let's go, 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 go. 
Amp speed, amp speed. Let's go kill him. He's dead. Diva's here too. Diva. Diva's here. Diva. Yeah, we're, look. Shane, get help. Yeah, we're, hey, we're, we're we up. Can, we it's a 5v6. We we yeah, we push. We, we push this. It's a 5v6 right now. Diva's on point. Or is that? Let's pull back some. Diva's going to level. Who's back on point? No? Okay, no worries. Diva's going to our spawn. All right. We should back out. Let's pull back, yeah. We don't want to play too split up since we are kind of close range composition. So let's pull back to the rocks. Pull back to the rocks. Uh, Diva's by herself left Back side. to the rocks, back, back to the rocks. Back to the rocks. Let her stay over there. She ain't doing anything. If she wants to stay over there and be non effective for our team, then. All right, let's go to point. No, we don't need to amp because she still has her fly. My bad, already amped. Okay, that's fine. You want to wait for her ability to come out and then you want to punish okay. her for it. Oh, okay. This is, this is still winnable, um, but they oh, do have right. a lot more ults than we do because we used way too many of the fight before, like a couple fights before. So we're probably right. going to lose that just because of alt usage. Um, which, like I said, I'm not worried about alt usage at all. Um, that's just why we lost that because of alts. So, have rally. Uh, is everybody spawned in? Yep. Okay, so we're going to hold, if you, no, we're going to hold the blue rocks. All we're going to do right now is literally wait for that payload to get close and kind of make sure we zone out where this far is at. So we just need to just go from there. Down. Oh, the lights can come back. Right 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 behind. Deep us out. All right, payload's almost here. All right, three, two, one, go, 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 go. Oh my god, I cannot Far get this far at all. Hey. Uh, two behind, by the way. No, oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Even let's take the high ground, take the high ground, take the high ground. Okay, I'm going with you. Yeah. Me and the crew are flanking back around here. Oh, there's a more on me. More are dead. Okay. Right. Go, push, cook. Are they out of spawn? We go, we go, oh, we go. go. We amp into them, amp into them. They're down two right now. We, they, that's free all charge for us. Get immortality? Uh, the beat wasn't necessary though. A little bit. <laughs> we the beat. Yeah. We should take high up here, like right here. Yeah, we can take the high ground. He was behind still. I don't know what she's doing. She ain't doing anything. It's a five v six almost every single time. He was up here. We're down uh, one. We need to play way far back. We need to get out. Okay. We, yeah, Let's you go guys back. are Let's go back. Let's go way back. too far for it right now. Pull back. Give them space. Let them take the payload. We just need to get out. Blue get out. Pull back. Pull break. back. Get Diva. Get Diva. We're down two. Die on the payload. If you're going to die, die on the payload. This is a lost fight. We're not winning this. Just, just reset. Get out. Get out. Just run away. Just run away. Survive. I All you. We got it. We're still waiting on one more before we do our engage. So, just waiting on everybody to come in. The big thing here during these Give situations. All right, let's go, go, touch, 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 touch. Oh, that's gigantic. Okay. So see how there's like very little time left. You want to wait to the last second. So everybody's there. Everybody has abilities. Everybody can push in at once. So in this situation, now ideally this composition is not good for what they're running. Um, so, but in this situation, you would have somebody watch cart since it is so close. Um, and then you're just going to kind of put yourself to the next choke, which is probably the since they have a lot of people on the high ground, we want to try to take the high ground away from uh -huh. them without them getting it for free, but they're going low ground again, so we're fine. We should speed right, ready? Here. Three, have... two, one, go, 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 go. Whoa, oh, far is one. Behind. Give it behind, give it behind. Far is one above you guys. Okay, okay. nice, okay. Yeah, nice. Okay. So you guys see how, like, if you play, like, Obviously, I, I don't know how many of you guys believe that a, a Lucio and Brig would be enough healing, but did anybody think that was going to work? 
Well, the point wasn't healing. The point was the utility of the speed boost and the break engage. Yes. So if your if your engagements don't last longer than like five seconds anyway, healing doesn't matter. So the thing is, and I think that was uh, Jiraiya, right? When you was wondering about the healing thing, having more healing. So this uh, playing with that, if you play it right, it doesn't matter because, like you said, the engagements last five seconds. <laughs> Nobody's losing that much health or anything like that. So that's one thing also brig does output a lot of healing if you play the brig correctly uh we are running two main supports which you're rarely going to have sometimes you can but running a lucio brig as two main supports is not going to be super common also we're running a composition that is not ideal for what they were running if they were running their composition as well as we was running ours we would probably get shit on <laughs> so um it's just that they wasn't so we didn't um so these are things that you want to kind of keep in keep in mind when it comes to uh positioning and stuff like that and, and like i said there's a lot of times in overwatch where you're just going to be sitting there and waiting for your time to come and then you need to know how to play your comp our composition is very close range it, it's not really a poking composition we're not doing damage from anywhere super long so we don't need to do anything all we're doing is waiting for them to get close and then we use our abilities to uh, uh, close whatever distance is there and punish them for being close to us. Because how they need to play against us is play super long range against us and just poke us down from a distance, which is kind of what they were doing. They just didn't really do it. Uh, so uh, other things I'm looking for when it comes to engages is ability. So one thing I real kill, like remember when our Lucio got hooked? That is, if, if somebody gets hooked in, that is your engage. Because somebody's hooked in, you're going. No matter what's going on, you're going in. Because you got to try to save that person. And if they get hooked and died, well, at least they might as well go in as well and try to do something with it. If you stop and wait, then you're for sure not, they're not, they're probably not going to get out. So keep that in mind as well when it comes to uh, when, it, when to engage. The other thing too, is like that D.Va, when we was going to go get the D.Va and you speed boosted onto her. You can't necessarily do that because she still has that fly ability. The only, that's the reason why I'm not really chasing the D.Va. Because she has that ability to get out. So if she's far away from us, if we amp speed onto her and then she flies away, we just use a very big cooldown on it, on, on one target. We use a big resource on one target. And then now that opens up a big uh, opening for their team to really punish us for it. So that's these are things I'm looking for and listening to while playing the game. It's not necessarily I see that she uses this or I see the blah blah. I'm hearing certain abilities go off and I'm like, oh, we can go in now. Uh, same things works for bubbles, nades that are coming in from Ana, stuff like that. These are things I'm looking at. All right, so we're gonna play one more and then hopefully, if you guys have enough time, then we'll do a uh, uh, what is it? A showcase match where you guys uh showcase hopefully what you guys learn uh do you guys have any like questions or anything that or do you guys kind of understand where to go and when to go and stuff like that yeah i understand it okay. I've, I've done one of these before yeah yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah I, I actually seen. like this brawl comp with the lucio break yeah it's 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 fun when you're playing against people who don't know how to counter stuff <laughs> and and when you're on defense when you're on defense it's a lot easier uh for all the people that's followed and subbed thank you so much um at the end of stream i will be reading all the stuff off so whoever subbed and stuff like that feel free if you want to get a shout out or something feel free to stay till the end of stream Welcome to uh okay so do you guys want to play this or do you guys want to skip uh, type in P or, P or S in the group chat to play or skip. What? Type in P or S in the group chat to play or skip. Play for P, skip for skip. Okay, who has not voted? Uh, Jariah, what do you want to do? Play or skip? Jariah, what do you want to do? Is it here? It should be. Alright, sorry about that. Do you want to play this map or skip? 
Uh, I don't mind. It's your call. You pick. It's oh, you shit. The tiebreaker. Skip. skip. Fuck it. Skip. All right. We'll wait a second to cue back in. The lights are now back to normal. Also, for people in the stream that are changing the colors of the lights in the background, the community light colors are not always what they say. So, if, uh, for instance, the blue color that was sent in, I don't know, I don't remember who called it in or whatever, but, um, they are not blue. <laughs> They are a, I think a red or an orange or something like that. There are a couple colors that are like that. If you want to add a color, feel free to. Uh, I just need the hex code and the color name. You get to pick whatever you want to do. And I will gladly add it when, uh, after the lobby. I think only like two or three can be added at a time just because I'm not gonna sit and add colors all day. <laughs> Are we going to join the game or? It looks like it's going to be bugged out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there it goes. The <laughs> servers have been weird lately. Like, I've been getting kicked out of games and stuff, and it's oh, weird. Oh. Ever since the update, the servers have been fucking. Cool. Um, so, are we doing the same composition? Same composition. We're going to do this one last time, and then if you guys have enough time for one last one, we'll do a showcase. Uh, Cause the analysis took a are little you longer. Going to play in the showcase or? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it'll be. It'll, I'll be playing. We'll be playing well, the same team composition uh, and everything. It'll just be that you guys are doing all of it and I'm not. So that's why I'd like to ask if you guys have any questions about why I'm saying this or why I'm holding this or anything like that. Because if you do, you need to ask. Uh, so we're going to go. We're going to go main and then we're going to go through hookah. If you don't know where hookah is, to the right side. Then we're gonna take the stairs to take the high ground, and we're gonna hold on the high ground. Okay. That is that is the game plan. Ugh, excuse me. And about to spawn. Anytime on uh, King of the Hill, the first time you come out of spawn, you want to amp immediately. After that, there's no need to. So take the high ground. We're just gonna like we're saying, we're just gonna play super slow. We want to wait? We, we need to see what they're running. Okay, now we're gonna wait for our build. All right, so Diva's here. Can we get her? Reaper left. No Reaper behind. All right, push and let's engage. Let's engage. Let's engage. They're coming to us, so we can definitely focus them down when they come to us. Mercy oh. line Reaper again. All right, let's drop. All right, we're we're done here. We're done with this fight, so just die. So we engaged that a little late. So like, if they come into us like that diva flew into us, we just punish her. She's dead. Stun, stun, frozen. Yeah, I was she holding does. shield so that the junk rat didn't wail on our team while you guys were killing the diva. So uh, we need that stun because he was gonna knock us all off. That's fine. If we all get knocked off. It's fine. She can get stunned yeah, for another two seconds. Straight engage. Yeah, we're gonna go into this left side. Ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Mercy, mercy. I'm on their back line right now. Reaper? Stick with Reaper, Reaper yeah. no shift. Did he not get me about it? Oh, he did. You lost your break? Yeah, and our Lucio. So this is probably lost. Yeah, it's definitely lost. Oh, at least they use an ult. Just jump off or die as fast as possible because we need to reset. Uh... They're doing pretty good. So far. I have shatter for next fight. Just break the shield and I'll shatter them. Yep, yeah, so we're gonna go we're gonna go main this time since we're gonna use alts. Uh so we okay. need to be able to get a little easier opportunity, so. Wait for this area. Okay. Alright. Right, ready? Break the shield, break the Three, shield. two, one, go. Just walk in front of it. Go. Alright, that's the end of that fight. Just die. So we can reset. So we're not going to be able to engage with our Lucio, and that might be. I can go by the touch. That's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. I have ultimate if we can. Um... I'm probably not even going to be able to touch here. You will be able to. Uh, oh, least... I almost got it. That's fine. I, I'm not worried about the uh, thing there. Um, so a couple things. Uh, like I said, 
if they come to us, same thing that happens when like a Roadhog gets a hook. If Roadhog hooks somebody, that's our engage. If they play out a position and they come to us, we that's our engage. Simple as that. So keep that in mind and then go from there. Um, and now a little bit of like where we need to uh, focus our fire. Uh, no, we're just gonna we're just gonna play this because there's no it's, uh, We're not here to win. We're here to learn how to position and engage correctly. Um, so Within this play cell, we need to be sticking with Reinhardt every time. So amp out of spawn Amp out of spawn. There you go As soon as the match starts amp out of spawn Let me just go main. Wait, we can just go main here yeah. I'm just gonna right, hold so this we're just waiting wait for, for Lucio's wait. speed boost to come back in. Reaper's here, so we can go. Oh. Sigma's down. Kill the Reaper. Kill the Reaper. Kill the Reaper. Reaper okay, down. Go back. Soon. Sigma up again. I'm Keep on them. Good. I'm holding chill. Reaper's. Let's play a little slow here. We get the point. Now we can push back in. Can we pick the junk or not? We should be able to. Let's go. Okay. Okay. No, oh, not anymore. He's he's back too far. All right, pull back. Play a little right slow. Side over here. Play right a little right slow. Side. We're still waiting on our break to come back, so you don't want to play too far forward. As soon as our break comes back, then we then we're going to hard engage. Back up. I'm here. Barriers down. I'm just going to wall them off. Give us some time. Good wall, good wall. All right, are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Go 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 go. I'm down. Sigma's in, in on us. We probably, probably definitely need to use ults here if we got them. We can hold. We can hold. Yeah, we have ults. We can hold this. Yeah, yeah, there's no Stay reason point, to hold ults here. We should definitely be holding ults. They're, they're definitely be using ults here. Yeah, we're defending. The main goal right now is to waste as much time as possible. But now we're down like two or three, so I'm not gonna. Okay, all right, now we reboot. Yeah. Yeah, if we have if we have like four people alive, we need to probably use one or two Trap ults. But all right, so we're not ready to engage yet, so Contact don't right trap, right side. don't take any damage or anything. All right, so let's go left. Trap. Let's just go left. Okay, let's engage left. I don't want to get knocked off. Yeah, by jump let's go ahead rally if we're gonna rally. Rally now. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. Behind, behind. Oh, this is lost, so we need to Come reset. In. All right, here's all. Sorry, just go ahead and die as fast as possible. There you go. They really need to buff break shield so that she can withstand a diva bomb. Oh, she me, can. You don't want break shield buffed. She can. Don't, she can withstand diva bomb. There's a 500 HP shield. She can withstand a diva bomb. It doesn't have to have full HP. It just needs no, to be up. So dark. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I never, I've never been able to survive a diva bomb. Then myself. you're not aiming at it. You have to be like facing it directly. There's yeah. like a. Alright, ready? Okay, Three, two, one, go, Trapped go, down. go. Low health. Oh, far behind. Go fair now. Down. On their healers in the back. We're down one. This is probably a lost fight. Yep, we're down two. This is over. It's the healers keeping them so, up in the back. Yeah, uh, uh, and, and our team comp is not, like, our team comp shouldn't win against this. Like, they're running a lot of spam stuff. We're running Brawl. They are playing range from us. We lose. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so we're going to go left side. Uh, far left into the mi mini health pack room. Go around. Ready? Three, I'm just gonna two. Get straight in. No, left side. Come back. Come back. Oh, unlucky. Oh, man. Jump. Oh, can. Jump right. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Right side. We have ultimate, so, like, this is last fight, so, you know Yeah. Hey. That's pretty much it. Uh, so, uh, on, on, like I said, we're not going to win a definitely against that comp. Um, and that's kind of what I was telling you guys on the other one uh if they were playing spam spammy stuff 
which is what they were doing. They were running a Junkrat, they were running a Far, they were running a Diva, they were running a Sigma. They were running everything but like a Zen and a Baptiste to spam us down. And they're playing it very, not very well, but they're playing it well enough to really punish us for our comp that we're playing. So, um, that's kind of how that this composition will get countered. If they're playing their composition well, and we're playing ours well, their composition's better, they should probably win most of the time, which, that's what happened. Uh, so, uh, and that's how compositions counter each other and stuff like that. Spam counters Brawl, uh, Brawl counters Dive, Dive counters, uh, Spam, so that's kind of your little really two second crash course on uh how team compositions usually counter each other or counter each other so that's kind of a um, little that's pretty much it for that now if you guys want to play this last one we can play one last one if you guys want to do one more and then we can kind of i can see how you guys did and then give you guys a uh, last analysis on your all's positioning and engages and stuff like that sure they was yeah. uh, they were yeah. okay i'll try to i'll try to fix that all right, so we're gonna do one more. My my grammar is not always the best, so even though like I guess what, what was it one stream, somebody was saying something about grammar and I was like I also teach grammar or something I forget what it was but it was worse than that, cause they were saying this but I've always said they was, so I I don't know it it's just. I have to be human. I can't be a robot. That's that's the excuse I'm going to go with. So, uh, playing the same team comp and stuff, of course. Uh, expired. What are you playing here? So, uh, how this is going to work is our tanks are going to position us, and our supports are going to call engages. Okay. So, uh, tanks, where are we going to hold up? And then supports, you call when we need to engage. All right. All right. And then the DPS just pew pew. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you this right now, you guys. I don't play Lucio at all. You don't need to play Lucio to know when to engage. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just letting you know like why my so, have been kind of like all. Oh, that's like fine. That. I don't have the I just don't have the Lucio mentality. Oh, that, that's fine. All you gotta. In this rank tries to go right side here. Yeah. So where are we going to hold up? So we should hold probably here, and then just either wait for them to come into this room, or if they're gonna push below us, we need a drop on them. Okay. Well, they have a Sigma and a Bastion. But they're on attack. They have a sim? No, they don't. Okay, they're just trying to run shield. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Okay, go, yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah, Uh, May, help your, help your Mercury, help your Mercury, thank you. May is no shift. I can, sh I can, I can stun. Okay, maybe not. It's up to you guys. Good, boo. Nice. Back up, back up. Let's get back to our whole position. Yeah. That was actually a very a clean engage by our Lucio. I think it was our Lucio. It was either our Lucio or our Brig that called that. I was not ready for it, and he was like, let's engage, and it worked. So, really good engage there. Alright, let's see how this see how this one goes. She just got her mech back. So right, we're gonna try to burn right still here. Let's push now. Yeah, we're here. Split. Kill the man. Oh, right, Bastion's on point. Point. Nice spot. Let's go left side, guys. Oh, let's go main, I guess. Mercy's one. Kill the Sigma. There's a uh, Baptist. Somebody's high. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. I hear somebody. Hey guys, I'm going to get to me. He's going yeah, back for a spawn or something. Oh, right I know where he's going. Alright, that's fine. He's gonna be stuck over there. That's alright. Just, just keep holding front. He, the Baptist is stuck. They're doing pretty good. Pretty, pretty impressive compared to. Uh. The, like right that. Side. Okay, okay watch it. Right. They wasted wall. We should go. I'm gonna shatter. I'm gonna shatter. We should go. We should go. 
Move, move. Push, push. Don't you shatter, don't you shatter. I already did. What a beat! Oh, what a beat. I don't play Lucio, so I don't know how my Lucio play will be. Alright, we have, uh, Sorry we have Shutter and x probably. That was an insane beat. That one, that, that old, that old one is that fight. Yeah, it's nuts. That beat alone saved us. That's ex excellent alt usage there. I'm just kind of listening and going with what they're going with. Like, I'm not even... Like, I'm just like, alright. They use wall. We should engage here. Okay. Go. I blocked the pin. Kind of split right now, by the way. We got it. Back up. Oh, we got two ults. Same. You know, some heroes cannot get up on that uh, little cafe thingy there on the platform. Iris is one of them. Yeah, back on now. You switch the echo. I have grab for this next fight. Mercy's ulti. Echo's going uh, point. Stay back, stay back. Echo dead. Mercy's half. Drop down. Okay, are we going? Right. Kill him, mortality. Mortality. He's frozen up top behind. Huge. I got it. All frozen. Wow. Oh wow! I am very impressed with you guys. I am. I was not expecting, because I haven't had a lobby where you guys don't ask questions when I ask. Does anybody have any questions? And then you you do so well. So I'm very impressed with you guys. Uh, calls for engages and stuff like that. Like, like that beat right there. That one is the game. Or that one is that fight. That was bad. Yeah, that was a ridiculous beat. So, 85 kill participation. Jesus. Wow, that's crazy. So, uh, yeah, you guys did really good jobs there. Uh, you guys' engages, excellent engages. I, I would say almost every single time you guys engage. Like, at, at some point, after like our, like the first engage, I wasn't ready for it. So I was just kind of brainlessly shooting, and then he was like, all right, let's engage. I was like, oh, shit, okay, we're going. And I wasn't ready, but I was like, hey, you guys see an opportunity? We all use abilities at once, and we just wrecked them. They was out of bash and turret form, and I guess that's what I, I, I guess that's what worked, because they got out of turret form, and we went in, and then they died. <laughs> so, really good engages and stuff like that. Um, really good positioning as well, uh, and resetting back to where you have an advantage, uh, never giving them high ground for free. Uh, and then good, good, uh, game sense when it came to, like, noticing when they're coming behind us and stuff like that, uh, and being able to make that effort. Uh, Lucio, I don't know what you're talking about, where, how you don't play Lucio as well, like, you did a really good job there. Like, your abilities were on point, uh, the boop on the May, when she was trying to make it out, that boop there, that's like, that's a huge play there. And the beat, like I said, the beat was super crazy. So, uh, really good job there. I think the only thing, like, if you're uncomfortable playing Lucio, the only thing you need to do is communicate with your team what you are doing, and you'll be fine. How you play Lucio there is fine. Like, that's what you need to be doing as Lucio. is speeding your team around, booping, looking for those things where you can boot people in to uh, take more damage and stuff like that. And as long as you're telling your team, like, what you're doing and amping and stuff like that, you, you should be fine. Yeah, you'll be able to carry a lot of people that are in voice chat that can listen and just by guiding where they need to go. Um, I was referring more to, like, movement. My movement was, like, horrible. It, it doesn't make... It's like, if we didn't have, like, a shield or, if we, like, if our team didn't work together, I would have been destroyed. Yeah, well, that's why everybody here has to be that leader in your own games. You're not going to have everybody here talking. That's why I'm giving you all the information so that when you're in your own games, you can try to sprinkle some of this into your own games and say, all right, hey, we should try doing this or let's do this or call targets or uh, play this way or at least change up your 
uh, play style a little bit. And not all the time you're going to have all six people in your own games saying, oh, yeah, well, we're definitely going to work together and stuff like that. But when you do have a couple people, it works really well. Um, so hopefully you guys kind of get that. And it looks like you guys really understand y'all's engages and positioning and stuff to, to an extent. Uh, I don't really have anything else to kind of tell you there. You guys did really good on defense. Um, uh, so, yeah, it was a bit much better improvement of y'all's Li Zhang Tower. <laughs> Other than, like, because y'all was not really engaging all at once or anything. It was just kind of a clusterfuck and everybody's just doing whatever they wanted. So, uh, all right. Any last uh, questions for me that you guys have? No? 